A moment of joy for pilot Raphael Donjon. He's one flight closer to accomplishing his dream of being the first pilot to take a solar-powered plane above 10,000 meters and fly at the same altitude as airliners. According to the explorer, no special take is needed for the feat. So we have 22 square meters of solar panels. These are the same solar cells that anyone can have on their house. We didn't want to use high-tech cells like those used in aerospace, so it's really a product accessible to the general public. Donjon's flight lasted five hours and nine minutes in total and took him to a record-breaking height of 9,521 meters. His goal is to show the potential solar power has for a more sustainable aviation industry in the future. The dream of flying is probably mankind's oldest dream. Some people tell us that we won't be able to fly tomorrow. I don't think that's a way to design an enviable world. We have everything we need to change. We have the technology, the renewable energy. We can stop burning 300 tons of fossil fuels per second like we do now. But that doesn't mean we have to stop flying. But so far, solar-powered aircraft can only transport a very limited number of people. If we want to transport two or three hundred people across an ocean like the Atlantic, we won't be able to do it with an electric or solar aircraft. We'll probably do it with hydrogen that will have been produced with solar energy on land and with water. Donjon and his team continue to look to the skies, aiming to turn humanity's oldest dream into a vision for a more sustainable future.